Dugsiga boarding ka yaa maalala ah ee Amano. Amano boarding and day school. Grade 5 and everyone watching, welcome to our social studies lesson, chapter 6. My name is teacher Eric and we shall be looking at the constitution and basic laws of a country. To begin with, we shall be looking at what constitution is and that means that by the end of our lesson today, here, you should be in a position to state what constitution is, you should be able to define what constitution is, you should be able to try and look at the importance of a constitution and how the constitution guides everyone in a country. Now, a constitution here is a system of beliefs and laws by which a country is organized. A system of laws by which a country is organized. For example, let's, took, uh, let's take um, an example of a classroom situation where if you are in a classroom, the class teacher, your form master, will come up with rules. For example, uh, the class master may say, if you haven't finished your homework, no PE, no snacks. They'll say, no making noise, you have to be silent at every time. Uh, when there's no teacher in class, you have to be reading your work. You should only go out with permission or when you have your permission card. Uh, you should get permission if you want to move from one desk to the other. So those are the basic rules in a classroom, right? Now, if we take that again, that knowledge in a whole country, like in Somaliland, we have also rules or laws that govern, that help us to stay or to live in peace and stability. Now, these laws are what we refer to as constitution 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 now a constitution is a system of beliefs and laws that govern a given country here laws right um, for any country to have peace and stability there must be laws that should be followed everybody in that country has to follow the laws has to follow the rules now, everyone, we are talking about everyone in that country. In Somaliland, we have also our constitution. Now, this constitution has to be followed by everyone who stays in Somaliland, whether a foreigner or anybody else. So, that is the constitution. It applies to everyone. Now, here is... A constitution where the laws are normally written in a book. This booklet is what you call a constitution. Some of you thought maybe a constitution is a house. Constitution is something uh, uh, maybe that you have never even come across. But it is just a book that is containing all the laws and beliefs that must be followed by a given country. Right? Yeah. Some of you call it uh, the store. So this one here. The store is the constitution, right? I think I've called it right. The store. Now, the constitution helps people to live in peace and stability. Every country, just like Somaliland, has its constitution. Now, the constitution is to be respected by everyone because it guides us. It helps us to live in peace with our neighbors. Now, uh, moving forward, here you can see the constitution of the Republic of Somaliland is here. But have you ever asked yourselves, like, when was the constitution formed? When was it implemented? Um, we shall look at it here that Somaliland is governed or led by a constitution that was adopted by the House of Parliament, okay, of Somaliland in the year 2000, in the year 2000. And it is important because that is the reason that you saw uh, the year 2000 written on that constitution. So just simply uh, here, there was 
that thing written here just to try and take you back here on this constitution here the year in which it was adopted had been written on it here 2000 so it was adopted that means it was formed and implemented people started following it uh, in the year 2000 and we have looked at it and so if we continue we said that the constitution of somaliland has five chapters we already have looked at it dastur and we said that each chapter is also divided into parts that we call articles here the word here is article so it has five chapters and every chapter is divided into other parts that we call articles now every chapter is describing how people are supposed to be living what laws are supposed to be followed uh, various uh, groups and the kind of law that is applied to every section uh, to all the people living in somaliland then here the constitution controls the activities of the government and the people of somaliland and that means that the people of somaliland right you and i included have to follow the constitution because the constitution is actually just the laws the rules that govern all the people living there so we are controlled by the constitution you cannot go and still you cannot go and kill somebody because the constitution says that you should not and if you are found then uh, an action will be taken so it guides just the same way the rules in a classroom normally guide all the students to follow them now here the constitution or rather in the constitution we find all the human rights and the responsibilities as a student or rather as a learner in grade five what are some of your rights some of you the other day you named some of your rights as right to life you have right to better education right to uh, uh, food right to you see all those rights right to protection you must be protected by the government by your parents you must have the right to good education better education right to health care that means these are the basic needs that you must enjoy the basic needs or the things that you must enjoy as a child the same way as a person who lives in somaliland there are these rights these things that you must enjoy so that life becomes easy so that you feel proud to live in your country these ones we call them rights now every human being has got right you have right to life okay so it describes what people should do as well as what people should not do a constitution tells people it guides people that the same way the rules in a classroom guides us on what we should do and on what we should not do that is what the constitution is all about some of you might find a big problem in pronouncing constitution but that is uh, what it is you have to try and get a better way to master uh, the pronunciation of constitution because it guides us uh, in everything that we do in the country now um, moving forward here we have the constitution of somaliland also ensures that there is order it brings peace and stability in a country order is where people behave in an orderly way any country even our neighboring countries have got constitutions they guide people they make people to live in peace and stability they make people to follow the law they make people to follow the rules everybody in our country has to follow or to respect the constitution they have to do according to what the constitution says now when there is law and order a country can develop when there is law and order a country can develop now uh, just to try and sum up what we have talked about in our lesson about the constitution 
And what did we say a constitution is? We said that a constitution is actually rules that govern a given country, beliefs and rules or law that govern a given country. It govern means that it controls all our activities. It ensures that we follow the right or we do the right activities. In the constitution, we also get to understand what we are allowed to do and what we are not allowed to do. You see? Yes, it also gives people their rights are described in the constitution that you have a right to speech, a right to talk, but you also have a responsibility. Yes, you must speak, but not just anything. You can't just go insulting people and even the government. So your right also is accompanied by a responsibility, things that you must do and those that you must not do. A constitution ensures that people live in peace, harmony and stability. Now, next time we shall be meeting, we shall look at uh, the government and the branches of the government. Thank you for watching our lesson today. Have a nice time.